Dale Earnhardt Jr. currently sits second in the championship standings and has a virtual lock on a seat in that 10 race tournament. Earnhardt Jr. will compete here today, just one week after suffering second degree burns in a fiery crash on the road course in Sonoma, California. Pre-race practice, driving a Corvette. Earnhardt loses control and crashes. You'll see the fuel spill out of the back. It is ignited by the hot components beneath the car. Earnhardt in the car for a moment, then did manage to get out and was helped away by the track safety team. The details on what happened then and what happens now from Matt Yoakum. Bill, earlier this morning, Dale Jr.'s mom, Brenda, wrapped his Burns Jr. just arrived at driver intros. First off, Dale, how do you feel? I uh, feel pretty good. We've been really doing the best can to take care of everything every day and just watch after the best you can. And uh, just uh, it, it hurts, but uh, it could be a whole lot worse. You're going to start the number eight car today. How long will you be able to drive? I'll be able to go to the caution, uh, the first caution, and... Uh, you know, we don't want to lose a lot of laps on the track and want to get Martin in the car as soon as we can, too, because he's been really good this weekend. And he's got a shot with a race-winning car, and uh, we want to get him in there as soon as we can because, you know, that puts us right back in the back of the pack again. So we want to do that as soon as we can, but hope that first caution uh, will come kind of early for us. Your mom, Brenda, has played a big role this weekend. <laughs> yeah, she's stepped up to the plate. Every time I... You know, she's just, perf she's just like every other mother out there. Every time I've been sick or anything, she's been right there. But uh, she, she just, you know, we got to wrap these wounds uh, every day. And uh, she's, you know, she's took up, uh, she's took some of the toughest criticism that I could dish out and some of the some of the most vocal, la most, most vocal language I've ever spit out of my mouth before and, and uh, took it in stride. And she's been there every minute. She's helped me out get through this weekend. Well, trying to make the best of a bad situation. He's called on not only his friend, but the young man who's the points leader in NASCAR Bush Series who drives his chance to car, and he's standing by with Dave Burns. And no, Matt, you are not seeing double. This is Martin Truex Jr., and Martin, of course, making his first attempt in a Nextel Cup race. There's always a little pressure for that, but you've got to drive the red number eight. Are you ready for what they've asked you to do? Yeah, I think so. Uh, we've had a pretty good weekend in the car. I felt real comfortable. Tony Jr. and them guys have... Uh, I've done a really good job making me you know, feel at home and everything, so I uh, just got to thank him for the opportunity, and uh, hopefully we can get in there quick and help get Junior some points for that championship. Well, no other driver has ever driven the number eight Budweiser Chevy in race conditions. Today, that's going to change. Let's go to Marty Snyder. Don't get all you can there, Dale Jr., because i got to have all that time. So you see him right there? He's loosening the belts up. Okay, now that helps when the next guy gets in. Those belts, if they're tight when the next guy gets in, it's really hard to get them buckled. Now we'll probably unlatch it before he gets stopped as well. Need to unplug everything, get everything he can attached to you so he can get out quick. Don't forget, he's sore. So he's not going to be getting out too fast. He might he might need to make another lap. Because all right, here he comes. If he makes another lap, then they can't add fuel to the car. So he's gotta come in here, Benny. Come on, you're 10 away here, DJ, right in front of the 41. Come on in here. Come on, right here. All right, Dave, go ahead. Here they go. The three guys going in the car. On the other side, Jay Guineri hopped in through the window. B. Hoover will jump in and help Martin Truex jump in. But big Jeff Clark is now helping Junior out of the car. He's the gas man. Helps Junior get out. Gas man for the team. Bill Snyder will fuel the car. You heard him discussing the understanding of the lucky dog rule. They must fuel now because they can't come in later and do it. Now Truex is in the car. They will try to buckle him in. Again, the team helping him. And Martin and try to do what he can, but Winery on the other side doing most of the buckling. Window net and belts have to be tightened. Are the NASCAR officials look at him looking in the car, making sure that he is safe to re enter the speedway? They say that he is, they don't stand before him, and he leaves. They beat the pace car out. Man, <laughs> the crowd is loving all this drama on pit road with a driver change. So, now if he got everything attached, he'll stay out, but if he needs to come in, he's got some time. Make sure everything is connected, especially the radio. I'm sure he'll come back in. Yeah, they'll come back in to take their tires. Dave? That's right. They can put tires back on, but they can't refuel. That was not to give too much of an advantage to the lucky dog. So Dale Jr. getting a, a breath. As Martin Truex Jr. is now back into the number eight car. And you see, he doesn't have gloves on because it's so much easier to put the belts on. He'll put the gloves on before he starts back. They're, they're going BP, on those now. gloves are in the car. They're stuffed underneath the front seat for Martin. As soon as he has the belts tightened, he will put them on. All right. 
And he didn't even have the belts tight yet. I mean, he had them connected, but there you go. He's straightening the wheel out. <laughs> Chaos. I mean, it, that's tough when you're trying to do all that stuff and not... Don't worry about it. Don't feed. You're good. Down. Don't feed. You're good. Now, he'll tighten those belts up once he gets, you know, caught up. And again, because he was at the end of the pack, they had so much less time to work with. You see, they just barely beat the pace car out again. Go, so get on around there. The crowd reaction when they hoisted Junior out of that car was huge. <laughs> that is awesome. Doesn't matter what racetrack you go to, he is popular. So now it falls on the shoulders of 24-year-old Martin Truex Jr to get what kind of a finish he can out of the uh, day for the Budweiser team. So Martin Truex Jr. is in the eight car, running last on the lead lap in 29th place. Had a little moment a couple of laps ago as he has tried to get acclimated to how that machine is driving. Trying to get alongside the 49 car of Kenny Schrader and comes off the corner, some contact between the two and wow. That's almost as good a job as Matt Kenseth did in the 17 earlier in the race. Dave, all clear right there, all clear. Wow. Hmm. Could hear the tires Careful. squealing even <laughs> hear the tires squealing even over the uh, the race engine. Dave. That's been part of what Junior's been doing down here. Got himself seated in front of a television now, watching Art Truex Jr. drive the eight around the track. He had a brief conversation with Tony Urey Jr. about the car. He was also receiving lots of congratulations, gentle pats on the back from his teammates. And also Dr. Scott McNair, team physician for Hendrick Motorsports, came by just to see if he could offer any assistance to Junior. None was given. Thanks, sir. Truex Jr. out there again working on uh, Dave Blaney, this would be, for 28th place. Blaney in the 30. Got to be patient here, Benny. Yes. I mean, you know, you're in a good race car. Um, you know, you just got to be patient. You don't have to try and impress anybody. He gets around this place good. He qualified great. And we got 225 laps to go. I mean, this race is not going to be over in the next 15 minutes. We heard Dale Earnhardt Jr. talk earlier about how the car was not very good. Martin Truex has been driving it for the last number of laps. He reports it's really, really tight. He's hanging in there. Matt? Will we see green flag pit stops for these leaders? Will they get a caution they need before they have to come in? We'll find out when NASCAR on TNT returns to New England. Got into his left rear. Back in New Hampshire International Speedway, caution has just come out. Martin Truex Jr. is into the wall in turn one. And that's not what they were hoping for. No, excuse me, left rear. He was falling back and had some contact with Jimmy Johnson a couple of laps ago. And you can see he's got some damage and some flat tires on the left side of that car. No, I drove right in the left rear. See, it sounds like he hits someone else in the left rear and he's trying to avoid hitting them or, and spun himself out. Let's see. Think we have a replay. There we go. Or he got hit in the left rear, I think is more like it. Uh, yeah. That would be correct. And Schrader. Let's see if we can get a better angle here of what happened. They're just going for the same real estate. Yeah. That's all there is to it. I mean, you know, you, you're wanting to be in the center of the corner there. Trader's down low. His car's going to slide up a little bit, but the A car's going to want to get down to the center. Exactly. They want to go, and they both fight for the same exact spot. And right. As, once again, as long as we have racing, we're going to have Rex exactly like that. On board with Kenny Schrader. And it doesn't take much. No. I mean, you're already... You're already on the edge when you're in the corner, so it doesn't take much to get the car turned around right when on, you make contact. Right on board the Truex, and listen. See, that wasn't much contact. That was pretty good contact there, unfortunately. Yeah, and the caution came out before these guys who skipped pitting on the last couple of times had to come in under green. And just a 
pay off the story on uh, the eight car and Mark Truex Jr. Remember, he got in for Dale Earnhardt Jr. They made the uh, driver change under uh, caution at lap number 59 and ended up getting involved in an incident and spun around, lost a couple of laps. He's back now in 32nd place. It's not going to turn out to be the kind of day points-wise that the team wanted. But under the present championship system, it doesn't hurt them as badly as it might if this were a year ago. No, that's right, because they only got to qualify in the top ten. And right now they're solidly in the top ten. But they can't stand two or three more races like this. They might slip back. But... Dale Earnhardt Jr. is going to get credit for 31st place points with the shared effort between he and Martin Truex Jr. So not the day they were hoping for, hoping to get a top 20, maybe a top 15. Didn't work out that way. And next on TNT, Ocean's Eleven on the East Coast and under siege to dark territory on the West Coast. Wild afternoon of racing at New Hampshire. We'll talk to you next weekend.